Hey, welcome to another show. We are going to learn how to take a survey. So the first part is you need to come up with a question. Our question is, what is your favorite fruit? And then we had three possible answers. We have apple, orange, and banana. Then the second part about a survey is you want to get out there and ask uh, what your favorite fruit is or what your question is. So let's go ahead. I got my class uh, right behind you. And go ahead. Um, what is your favorite fruit? Okay, we got a one for banana. Okay, somebody else? All right, we got another one from banana. Get, guys, 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 get off the table, get off the table. Come on, we're trying to do a survey here. All right, all right. Okay, we got somebody over there from apple. Nice. Okay, we have one for an orange. Looks good. We, all right, another one for banana. Okay, will you get off the ceiling? Monkeys are a little crazy today. They see that I'm talking about bananas and they always go crazy. All right, we got another one for banana. All right, settle down, settle down. Okay, what, what, we got one over here for apple. Okay, another one for orange. Yeah. Banana? Okay, we got another one for banana. Now look, every time I'm putting a mark down right here, that means one. And now I'm going to make another mark here, but I'm going to put five marks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include, include this. I'm making tally marks here. And now this is a group of five tally marks, okay? When I put a line through all those four right there, that's five tally marks. There's one, two, three, four, and this one is five, so that's five tally marks. Okay. Oh, we, we just had somebody over here for an apple. And of course, yes, so we got another banana. Okay, so we have our tally marks. We asked the question on our survey, what is your favorite food? And now we have a bunch of tally marks. Now the next part is we're going to add up our tally marks. Okay, so you can go ahead and count with me. One, two, three. So what I'm going to do is put three right there, the number three. That re represents how many tally marks I have. Now I'm going to go ahead and add up the oranges. One, two. There you go. I got two oranges. Let's go ahead and add up the bananas. Whoa, guys, settle down. Settle down. I'll, I'll pass out the bananas later. Okay. All right. This right here is a group of five. All right, I don't have to go one, two, three, four, five. No, I already know. If that slash is right there, there's five and then six. All right, I have six bananas, okay? Now, before we finish, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions here. What is the least amount of votes that we got on our um, fruits? The least, that word means the littlest, the smallest. You're right. The orange had the smallest amount of votes, the least amount of votes. That was two. What was the greatest amount? The greatest means the biggest, the largest. That was bananas. Number six. Okay. We had six votes for bananas. How many votes did we get for apples? You're right. One, two, three. So if I had a party going on, what do you think would be, what food would probably get eaten most? Bananas, of course. And what food would probably be the least amount? Oranges. Hey, we did a great job learning about a survey, writing down our question, asking our question, putting down tally marks. We learned that if we have five tally marks, we're going to put four tally marks, and then we're going to put the fifth line right here. That'll mean a group of five. And then we added them up, and we have a total. With this information, we can use this for graphing, and we'll, we'll talk about that in another video right now. But first, I need to give the bananas out to the monkeys before they tear up my classroom. Hey, thanks a lot for having a good day with us. Make sure you check out our other videos. Make learning fun, and you'll have fun learning, and have a fun day. Bye-bye. Oh!